It is trusting God to deal with this situation. But it is not easy to do that when you do not understand what is causing the offense. Uh, and this is why a lot of us, what we do and what we've been doing right now is to try to bury the thing, try to forget it, try to ignore it, or try to just block it out of our mind, cut the person off so that when we don't see them, we feel that we are all right. In the marriage, you can't cut them off. So the thing keeps coming and keeps coming. And as it keeps coming, we find ourselves, we get angry more easily. We get irritated more easily. A little thing would irritate us. That's because we are not forgiving properly and it's piling up. And then we become the unhappy spouse. And before you know it, if you stay in the unhappy spouse mode for long, you begin to wonder, why am I in this marriage anymore? And that's why many marriages eventually collapse. I used to wonder, why would someone stay in the marriage until the children are 21 years old and they've gone to universities and, and then the marriage breaks? This is why people, they stay in the unhappy spouse state for so long that by the time they are 50 years old, children are 20 years old, they figure, I'm old now, I cannot continue to live like this for the rest of my life. I would better be alone and be happy than to be in this marriage as destroying me. And that's why many marriages break at, even at that point. So the fact that you've been married for long does not mean that you are okay. It only means that you're keeping things together so that we are hoping for good. And my goal as, as a coach and as a pastor is to help anyone that's in the unhappy spouse state to move to the happy spouse state. 